Welcome to the NEO operational video series for software version 3.9. These videos are designed for targeted instruction to get you up to speed quickly and simply. This video targets basic mode. Basic mode is great for simpler environments or beginning users as it limits the number of options that are available for you. These show up in three places in system properties, in the live screen, as well as in patch. All right, let's go in the system properties while in basic mode and talk about all of the basic options that are here. So basic settings, uh, for those of you familiar with Neo, this is a new layout. It's a much more touch friendly uh, layout. You've got DMX output options, so you can set your protocol device if you're communicating DMX over Ethernet. You've got your DMX console ports on the back of the desk. And this is the universe that each of the ports are assigned to. Ports 1, 2, 3, and 4. Over here we have system settings, what the on level will do, the up down buttons are currently set to 5%. Your grandmaster buttons are disabled and those are your different options that you can set to. You've got an AB fader mode for your master playback and those are your options there. Turning on and off preset fader mode, show command line syntax help. This is where your automatic file backup services are, which I recommend you set your leave your first location as is, set your second location with the uh, folder button to a USB key. This will store backups every five minutes and it will keep 10 of them. Your queue list default times, uptime and downtime your default tracking mode, queue only tracking, and the, um, the mixed version of queue only applying to intensities and tracking applying to attributes. You've got Automark where it will default to being set as late as possible. Those are your other options. You can have it mark in queue time or not. And to the right here, this is whether it's going to include these different items when you're recording cues. So does it include effects, levels from subs, and palettes when recording this information. In addition, here in the basic system properties, you can play the introductory video. All right, all the basic functions are the same. All of the buttons at the top are the same. However, the view pull down is truncated. It simplifies. So you have blind view, display fixture, complex timing, we're currently in our classic grid, which is our channel grid on the left. Magic sheet, you can say open a new view of channels. Those are your options for that, which will allow you those to be docked onto a second monitor. Open a split view of channels will split into the bottom half of this window in one of these four formats. You can open a color picker, uh, channel formatting, your options are here and your display options are available here. Now we can also go into patch. Now patch in basic mode, again, all the operation is the same. The options pull down is actually the same. It's the visible columns that are set to only the most common ones by default. You can obviously go in here and add or subtract any columns that you wish. So thanks for watching this NEO operational video for software version 3.9. Go to the Strand website for many more videos on NEO programming and operation.